Hi, Storm Nation. Mike Flanagan here reporting at Wayne Webb's Columbus Bowl here in Columbus, Ohio. We're at the Lipton Bowling's U.S. Open, and the main storylines here this week are Pete Weber and Jason Belmonte. Can Pete catch Jason? And over on the women's side, of course, it's been Liz and Kelly duking it out all this week. But a couple of new faces that you may not know on Storm staff as well, as we have an opportunity to possibly have everyone on the show this week. That would be unprecedented. We've never done that before. But Danielle McEwen in the women's division and Marshall Kent in the men's division Division. They are just rocking it out here. I had a chance to catch up with some of our players. Let's talk to them. Here with AJ Johnson. He's had a big week. Uh, AJ, that block you struggled a little bit, but uh, what's it like to be bowling so well out here at the U.S. Open? Uh, it's been it's been pretty fun. Uh, considering this is my second one, uh, to be going into match play at third uh, was very very humbling. It was uh, couldn't I, I didn't know I could bowl this well at you know at such a big event like this. Um, but I just kept making good shots and things kept falling my way. Got to match play and match play has been going pretty rough. Just couldn't catch, uh, couldn't catch anything. Um, especially later on, uh, lanes get a little bit tougher and just couldn't get a couple of strings going. But other than that, it's been been pretty well. Uh, AJ Johnson, you've got eight games left here tonight. What's your game plan going into the last eight games of match play? Uh, game plan is just make the best shots I possibly can. Um, you know, let everything else take care of itself, but uh, just make good shots and hopefully put some games together and, you know, try to finish as high as I possibly can. New Storm Stafford, this guy's got a lot of collegiate experience. You're going to see a lot of good things out of AJ. Here with the last two-year collegiate MVP player of the year, Marshall Kent. Marshall's having a great week this week. He finds himself sitting in fourth position with eight games left here in match play. Marshall, tell me a little bit about the equipment you've been using this week. Uh, I've been sticking to two balls mainly, mostly the uh, the IQ Tour solid. I've had a, I've got a low pin on that with a hole, and I've been throwing that on the fresh every single game basically. And uh, and then my ball down from that's a high road pearl that's drilled above my bridge with the with a hole in it as well, and it, it's been a nice one-two combo. And after that, it's kind of a kind of a guessing game because they transition so weird. But the first first few games, I I've got a nice little little one-two punch to go to. Last year, uh, Marshall, the U.S. Open, uh, you bowled pretty well, flundered a little bit. There's eight games left. What's your strategy going forward? Same thing I've been doing. I just kind of shut the brain off and just cruise, just bowl my game and see if it's enough in the end. This guy threw it for all the marbles to win a collegiate championship with Robert Morris, and he's going to throw it for all the marbles here tonight in the next eight games. We wish him all the luck. Good luck, Marshall. Thank you, Mike. Deandra Asbady had a great block here today. She's bailed herself out, bowled 258 the last game. Deandra, talk a little bit about what you found in this block. Uh, I found more strikes, so that was good. Um, you know, I just just want to be me, and I really haven't put any pressure on myself. I had a really rough block a couple days ago. I think a lot of people probably counted me out, but I never count myself out. And, um, you know, I always figure if I make the cut, there's always a chance to get there. And, you know, I'm pretty close, and I know that I can do it. I'm just going to come out and do the best that I can and see what happens. I, either way, I'm not going to be disappointed, but um, it would be very cool to make the show. I uh, saw you shoot 258 with the High Road Pearl. High Road Pearl's working pretty good for you. That ball is amazing. It is. I mean, I have two pin up, pin down. I've used them a lot this week on a flat pattern. I just can't believe how I can get left with it and really just shoot it right, and it comes back with so much energy. It's amazing, and it smells good. Seriously, every time I bowl, I can get I get like whiffs of it. It's delicious. So it's the uh, the scent. Yeah, the scent. It's it's like candy. It tastes like candy. You should get one. Here with Kelly Kulik. Kelly Kulik is leading after 16 games of match play. Kelly, talk a little bit about the Storm Balls this week and how they've worked for you. The Storm Balls have been f fantastic. There's such a wide assortment to choose from, from top to bottom, and there's no gaps. So I know I can go from one ball to the next, knowing that they're all going to do the same thing and give me multiple reads, which I haven't had before. Eight games left, a big uh, TV telecast coming up on Saturday. What would it mean to win the U.S. Open back-to-back? You know, I've had opportunities in the past to do it, and I've never completed it. So for me, it's it's almost like, a, you know, I'm reaching for something that I haven't gotten yet, and I would love to repeat. I want to be able to say on TV, repeat. Four U.S. Opens, unbelievable. That's Kelly Hulick here from the U.S. Open. Here with Dick Weber, Ambassador Award winner, Bob Hart. Bob's been with Storm since day number one. Bob, you're here uh, watching the event here this week, and uh, talk a little bit about what you're seeing out there. Well, you know, this uh, this shot is very br a very brutal shot. It's uh, critical. It takes good shots. Uh, the one thing I am really impressed with is the fact that it's possible Storm could have eight people on the show.
four ladies and four men, and that's unheard of, but it's it's possible out there. It looks like we're in pretty good shape for at least a top two on both sides or a top three in the men's and a top two for sure in the ladies, but uh, uh, right now it looks like we could definitely have four on each side. Absolutely, uh, Bob, you know, Pete Weber, he could defend and Kelly Kulik could defend. What do you think their chances are? Pretty good. <laughs> Uh, they're both making quality shots. They're they're intense. They're really up for it. You can see in in in, in that intensity. They're just uh, out there doing what they're supposed to do, and that's throw quality shots. Thanks, Bob. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.